And here are some practice problems dealing with pressure. And in the first one here, we're told that a concrete, a concrete pillar is rectangular in shape, two feet wide, two feet deep, and 20 feet tall. So I'll draw a picture, and you can just make a rough sketch here. And so this is, this is two feet down at the bottom, uh, two feet wide, and two feet deep. So I'll make a 3D sketch like this. Okay, so that, that length there is 2, and that is 2, and it's 20 feet tall. And those measurements are all in feet. And the column weighs 6 tons, and 1 ton is 2,000 pounds. So that tells you how much force uh, from gravity is pushing down on the ground. So let's, um, let's draw this, draw the hidden lines in here, and you can get a visual image of the bottom here. This is the bottom of the column, and the weight of the column is spread out over that area. So it's resting on the, on the ground here. And so a certain force spread out over a certain area gives us a pressure. And here's the calculation. The force, the downward force is 6 tons. That's 12,000 pounds. So we're using pounds here to measure force. And the area here, now the area is 2 feet by 2 feet. But we're told to give the answer in pounds per square inch. So we need to convert that. 2 feet is 24 inches. So this is 24 inches by 24 inches. And when you multiply 24 by 24, you get a big number. It's 576 inches squared, or square inches. And then the pressure is the force divided by the area. So it will be this many pounds divided by this many square inches. So that's 12,000 pounds divided by 576 square inches. And 12,000 divided by 576 comes out to 20.8. And the units, of course, pounds per square inch. So 20.8 pounds per square inch. Okay, in the next one, we're told that the, con the contact patch of a car tire is the part of the tire that contacts the pavement. And a certain car tire has, a cer certain car has tires that have a contact patch that is seven inches by four inches. So, so think about this, a tire basically is round, right? but it sits on the road and there's a lot of weight and it squashes flat so it's actually flat along the bottom just for a small area right there it doesn't contact the road at a single point there's an area of contact and that's what we call the contact contact patch and in this case we're told that it's seven inches by four inches and that's for one tire there are four tires and then we're given some numbers here the car weighs uh, 3,584 pounds, and then we're told to find the pressure in pounds per square inch given these measurements in inches, 7 inches by 4 inches, find the pressure that the car exerts on the road. So again, the calculation will be the standard calculation for pressure. Pressure is force over area. So we need to know the force, which is given right there, 3,584 pounds, and we need to know the area. Well, the area is just going to be the area of the contact patch times 4. So this is 7 inches by 4 inches, and that's obviously 28 square inches. But that's for one tire. We need to multiply that by 4 because there are 4 tires. So 8 times 4 is 32, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11, 112. So it's 112 square inches for the area. So then the pressure will be the force divided by the area and that's what we're trying to find. Find the pressure. So 3,584 pounds divided by 112 square inches and we pull out the calculator 3,584 divided by 112 is 32. That's 32 pounds per square inch. And some of you might recognize this number, 
32 pounds per square inch. That's the pressure in the tire. Now, that's not the same for every car. Some cars have higher pressure tires, but for a lot of cars, 32 pounds per square inch is the air pressure in the tire. And of course, the, the pressure on the road should equal the air pressure in the tire, 32 pounds per square inch in this case.